Hey everybody, welcome to Fawin Channel. We're gonna play something a bit different today. We're gonna play Battlefleet Gothic Armada from the Warhammer 40,000 universe. If you guys weren't aware of it before, I'm gonna tell you right up now, I am a huge Warhammer 40k nerd, or 40,000 nerd. Um, so I've been really excited to play this, and it just came out recently, so we're playing it. Uh, just the gist of it, for those of you who are not familiar with Warhammer 40,000, takes place in the 41st thousand millennium or whatever, so, like, we're currently in the second millennium, so, this is like the 41st millennium, just to let you know kind of like how far in the future this is, it's extremely far in the future. <laughs> so, more or less, um, there's a huge human empire, uh... There's a huge civil war where the emperor got uh, crippled by the bad guy. The bad guy died, but the bad guy's second in command took over and like retreated. And now they're attacking again with uh, a buttload of ships. And our job is going to be to stop them. So let's get started. Now, just to let you know, and you guys might see a little bit of this. I did a couple of test videos before um, before this one, and there's a, a slight stuttering in the video, not the audio, but just the video, and I was doing a lot of research, and it's just how it is right now until uh, the developers patch it. So if it seems a little patchy or a little you know stuttery here or there, I've done everything I can, there's nothing I can do. So we're just going to do this on normal. And uh, let's just go ahead and hop straight in. Oh, and if I didn't mention before, it's we're a space 10, navy. Ten thousand years, the Imperium of Man has endured under the rule of the Immortal Emperor. Yeah, he's crippled though, so he can't the do nothing. The worlds of man are scattered across the galaxy, threatened by savage aliens, heretics who defy the Emperor's will. Which are the bad guys? The horrors, like the main bad guys here. God. It is a time of endless war, selfless heroism, and blackest infamy. Yeah, this, that's basically the whole thing about this universe is it's always constant warfare. Fortresses in the stars. A circle of six, but they sleep yet and must be awakened. I think these are bad guys talking. Chaos are pretty much what the bad guys are called. So yeah, there's like space demons and space magic. Abaddon the Spoiler is the second of command guy who's now in charge and he's invading our space again. I mean, I could... And he's kind of an asshole. <laughs> Answer me or die now! Stop this foolishness. I have consorted with creatures far more powerful than you. Speak, Crone, <laughs> but I will remember your insolence. It makes me think like the Lich King from, uh, from Warcraft. Just the, like the way he is, the way he acts. Darkness. Take the Eye of Night. With these, the Citadels will be yours to command. Chorus of a billion throats will cry your name in fear and hatred. That doesn't sound scary. I don't know what it is. Stars themselves will run red with blood. If you have the courage for it. That's the bad guy. That's the guy we gotta kill. See, look, it's Millennium 41, year 139, I guess. So basically, the year 41,139. Captain Spire, Data Log Alpha. Battlefleet Command has lost contact with Orbital Station Aleph in the Naxos system. I'm on my way to investigate. And that's us. Sir, we're approaching the location of Orbital Station Aleph. Captain, the station is surrounded by an asteroid field. I have calculated the best approach for us to pass through it safely. So basically, in this game, we get... A, well, currently, we're just getting one ship, but eventually, we'll build Awaiting up to a fleet. 
And the whole idea of the game is to build up big fleets to kill the other fleets and you get special actions and stuff. If I hold the alt button down, I can see where, like, there's debris that I have to avoid, like these asteroids. I don't... And there's gas clouds, I guess. I don't know everything yet. I played pretty much just the prologue, just so I can test the video, so... But as I was saying about the universe, uh... I could really go in-depth about it, but there are other channels that that do specifically that. But if you're ever curious to learn more about the Warhammer 40k universe, check those out. Or go to the Games Workshop website and, and learn all about it. Um, my basic rundown that I gave you is extremely basic. It is just filled with layers. Uh, the Warhammer 40k universe has been around since like the early or mid 80s 1980s so they've been building upon their uh their lore and history for like the longest time but it's it's really interesting very dark gothic future with technology but no one remembers how to make technology so they just rely on old technology from a few millennia before i'm getting too ahead of myself let's just play the game <laughs> of course, so right now we got this little guy it is a cruiser called the chosen of perseverance that's pretty tiny for me I'm not sure if you guys can read it wish we could rename our ships all right now wants us to go here Setting course. So basically just teaches us like the basics it's like the tutorial it's like your spaceship you should go there I'm like okay there's an active minefield directly ahead captain we must maneuver quickly, or it is likely the ship will be damaged. All available power to the plasma thrusters. We're going to execute a high energy turn. So that's what these are. So we're going to turn as quick as possible functions. so we don't hit the mine. And then resume Orders our course. Received. High energy turn successful, Captain. I the also thrusters do... are already recharging. I've discovered... Well, resume our course to Can the I talk? station. I also discovered that this gold bar here is basically like uh, our boost. So if we want to boost left or right or forward, um, this is the bar that that uh, our energy bar more or less. So the more we do it, the more it's gonna uh, go down. And if we give it time to recharge, then we can do another maneuver more or less. Captain, our auger arrays indicate that the orbital station is heavily damaged. I suggest we move in closer to discover what happened here. I hate that it keeps re. Positioning the camera because I, I liked how I had it. Helm coordinates acknowledged. Captain, we can reach the station faster by pushing the engine status to all ahead full. That's what this guy is. And so watch this bar when I hit this thing. Engines to maximum. See how it just starts eating it up as we're going faster. Uh, I'm just gonna turn it off real quick. Cruising speed set. So we just go back to our regular speed and it starts to fill back up again. All ahead full. There we go. So, we're basically on a patrol mission because this space station that looks like a, a bunch of cathedrals glued together floating around, uh, we lost contact with them. So we're going to go check it out, see what's going on. So I, I'm pretty sure you can guess Cruising what's going to happen. Set. More or less, uh... It seems like the station has been attacked recently. The enemy may still be lurking around. Sir, I recommend dispatching some of the ship's armsmen to board Orbital Station Aleph. And report on what they find. Little, t little, uh, little, little tidbit about me and the Warhammer universe. My, uh, my, the first model I can ever remember painting because it's like a huge tabletop game which you get to put together and paint. Is the very first model I ever put together and painted, as well as just my favorite one to paint is was the commissars or the or the big guys in the human army who make sure all the. Other humans fight and not run away, otherwise they execute them. Underway, Captain. So basically they're like the badasses of the regular humans. And signs of explosions on the bulkheads. We found the command center, sir. Ooh. This place is a mess. It's full of bodies. The station's command crew. They're all dead. I wonder who did it! Cautiously, Sergeant. I have a bad feeling about this. Sir, we found a survivor. Sir! The station is a trap. We're under attack by traitor forces. Oh. That sounds like some transformer sound. The platform on the station oh. has activated and is targeting our vessel. 
You got it, Mr. Gunner guy. Pro cannons ready to fire on your order, sir. So again, it's just teaching us that if we right-click on this guy, we'll we'll start fighting him. But I know for certain that if we get closer, our cannons Execute high energy turn. Our cannons on the sides will do uh, better damage. Because um, now it's closer, it's less likely to miss. We also got a giant, like, laser cannon on the front of our ship, so if we ever need to turn or something like that, and we can get it to line up, you can do a huge blast and just finish him off. Target destroyed, Captain. We blew it to pieces. We sure did, buddy! So. I'm picking Whoa. up some strange signals in the nearby gas cloud. Okay, because uh, this giant green circle is our sensor range. Changing course. So we we know there's something there, but we just don't know what it is because it's out of our range. So we're just gonna Understood. bring in a range. So oh, it's shooting at us. The iconoclast destroyers. Chaos ships. This sector is a long way from the Eye of Terror. What could they be after here? I'm trying to reasons, get some boarding Captain. parties on there. Must be destroyed at once. Oh, boarding failure. Captain, consulting the ship's cogitators and machine spirit can help guide you in making tactical decisions in battle. Now, I might not use... Tactical cogitators. I might not use the tactical cogitators. It's more or less like bullet time, so you can... Uh, maneuver your guys and you know what you want to do and stuff. Engaging. And, be perfectly honest, it, I'm pretty sure it'll come in handy when I have like a ton of ships and I want to move all of them and tell all Master of them to do independent Gunner. things. We need to direct additional power to the targeting cogitators to increase our weaponry's accuracy. Oh. Lock on target. Yes, did I do I it? Yeah, I did it. Kick his ass, sea bass. There he goes. Go targeting get him. Enemy vessel. New vector. Let me see if we can. Yep, there we go. There's that front cannon I just fired. Now this is our. Uh, there's some stuff down here, but I'm not entirely sure what all of it means just yet. I think this is our shield strength, which slowly goes up, and that's our armor strength. Oh wait, no, it says. It... Oh, okay. So this is our shields. What's this then? Rotation defines your ship's ability to reorient itself in a new direction. I did not know what any of this stuff was. Speed. We're going as fast as we can without boosting. Oh, there he goes. What's all this other stuff? Well done, Armor. crew. Captain, the Orga arrays are reporting more enemy signals. That's a lot of ships. I don't think we could take them all on right now. There's no way we could survive fighting them head on. Contact the High Command immediately. Unable to do so, Captain. All communications are jammed. Captain, there may be a way for us to escape and warn Port Moore. We could risk an emergency warp jump. It's risky to engage the warp engines this close to the star's gravitational field. But the Chaos oh. Fleet has us boxed in! So Time to uh, engage the warp drive and get out of here! Before they catch up on us. That's a, that's oh, a lot of ships. Oh, God Emperor. Preserve us from the dangers of the board. I'm not sure if I'm yelling in the mic or not. I'm so excited. <laughs> I just love this stuff. Oh. This is how we travel faster than the speed of light. We do portals. We won. Okay, this is going to be very, uh, very plot heavy. So, uh, just, just bear with me. So we won. We got 80, 81 points. I don't know what that is for yet. And our Dauntless uh, Cruiser leveled up. Again, don't know what that means, but we're just going to continue on. I love that there are subtitles for the subtitles. Just just putting that out there. So the Empire really likes cathedral building, so everything looks kind of like a cathedral. Uh, they're also super religious, 
towards their emperor. Their emperor, who's crippled, is their god. So anybody who opposes them is a heretic. And they even have their own inquisition, like the Spanish Inquisition. If what you say is true, Captain Spire, a vast chaos fleet is massing for attack. Inquisitor Horst, are you sure of this man? See, there's the Inquisitor guy. Consider someone else. Isn't this captain from a planet that rebelled against the Emperor's will? Oh, uh, politics and shit going on. His faith will be tested. Now, the big fat guy on the left is actually a super soldier called a Space Marine. Um, they're the biggest badasses of the Empire. Of the Emperor. For Quite literally. Of mankind. Obey his words. words. Yeah, very re super religious guys. So basically, they're gonna torture us with, like, space magic to see if we are tainted by anything. Particularly the space demons and other space magics. Let us begin. If I pass, I get to do stuff. If I fail, they kill me. That's basically what it is. And it apparently is very painful. Yes. We needed to be certain. The enemy we face is no ordinary. Man, that dude just like must be like seven foot you tall to compared to me. You to the rank of admiral and given command of the fleet. Sweet. I will not fail you, Inquisitor. There is much to do and little time, Admiral Spire. I fear a storm coming to the Gothic sector. One we are not yet prepared to face. Okay, that's about as far as I've ever played during my uh, my testing. So I know just as much as you do going the in Gothic as far as the sector is beginning to turn away from the emperor's light. I think this is our boss. Treachery, sedition, and heresy have broken out like a plague upon our worlds. I might be Admiral talking Spire. really loud because I think Your my headphones are entitles you to too command loud, a small so. war fleet of imperial Sorry. navy ships. It is your task to ensure the citizens of the Imperium remain safe and loyal. Okay. Here. So, anyways, where were we? Oh, yeah. So the big boss wants us to make sure that all the planets and shit are not rebelling against us or being assholes or anything like that. So, that's what we're going to do. Do we get do we get to look at our stuff? Cardinal worlds or sacred ground? Scola progenium. Adeptus ministorum. I. If anybody's a forty k nerd, Adeptus ministorum is like the bureaucracy type people, right? Sounds about right. Like. Ministers, minister, whatever. Penal world. <laughs> Anyways, that's just like uh, criminal worlds where the whole planet is a uh, prison. P basic product world. So like agri world, which is farming and mining. So basically like the raw material worlds. Portal worlds. Safer ways to travel through the warp. So that's just places where we can not risk losing guys traveling through portals. Omisaya temples. Now, there is another religion inside this empire where they pray to technology. And they refer to their technology god as the Omnisaya. Um, so those guys are the tech priests. So they have all like the really good technology. And we kind of get the, uh, the ones that are... Relatively good compared to them, but theirs is like just slightly better, you know? It's like we got like, I'm just making stuff up right now, but it's like we have uh, like the iPhone, was it 5? And they have the iPhone 6, more or less. And that's it. <laughs> they just love technology. That's their whole deal. What's up? What's we got? Space stations, I think you can guess what that is. Inquisitorial bastions, that's where the Inquisition likes to hang out. And Forge Worlds are whole planets filled with uh, factories to make all the shit. Usually stuff from the product worlds. So, 
Let's go ahead and head over to Acre. Does it say anything? I don't recognize any of these planets from uh, from when I used to play. Your first assignment is to put an end to the unrest and rebellion threatening a nearby system. Okay. Oh, there's rewards for this mission. Um, if I'm victorious, I get 50 points. If I lose, I get 25. So at least I get something, even if I lose. Uh, third percent of the cost of destroyed enemy ships. So I get more points based off more ships I kill. See the cost of heavily damaged enemy ships. Okay. So if I murder everything, I get more points, more or less. If I just damage them, I still get some. So set up an ambush for seditious ships, and the enemy is composed of Imperial ships. So we're not going to be fighting any kind of aliens or chaos. We're going to be fighting pirates, more or less. Pirates and, uh... This interface helps you prepare your fleet for stuff. the next mission. At the head of every fleet is the flagship. You must select one of your vessels as the flagship for each assignment. Okay. Choose your dauntless light cruiser as the flagship for this first operation. So we hit this you guy. You have another captain assigned to your command. This captain commands a dauntless light cruiser and will assist you for the duration of the mission. Okay. Add his ship Ow. to your fleet. So you can only spend like a certain amount of these points um, for your fleet. Smaller ships of the escort class can provide fire support or scout for the enemy. I think we can only the afford these ones. frigates are a good choice for this assignment. It wants us to have this one. What does it do? Oh. Okay. Cool. It's faster than ours. Once your fleet is prepared to engage the enemy, you should set course for the target system at once. And that's when we hit the ready button. Okay. We're going to hit the ready button next time. So stay tuned for the next episode of... Battlefield Gothic Armada as we go and try to take out some rebel forces and pirates and shit. The seditious forces. I'm just going to call them the rebels as we go fight off the rebels. So uh, join me next time. Like, comment, and subscribe for more content as well as share and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I will talk to you all later. I'm just excited. Can't wait to hit that button. I hope you're excited too. So see you next time and we'll hit that button. Take care guys.